Hi, I'm Jennifer Posner from Women in Media and News, and I I don't think the internet is magic. I think the internet has magical properties for us, right? But it's a really it's a real palpable part of the infrastructure of public debate today, and it's basically the only way in to public debate for the majority of women and people of color whose views do not get heard on the op-ed pages, whose views do not get heard as pundits on the influential Sunday morning talk shows that influence um, public policy and, and legislation, right? The internet is what allows us from our communities up for women, for people of color, for queer people, for low income people, to have a voice in not only what's going on, on in our communities, but a voice in influencing national debate. And the internet isn't magic, it is actually a life or death infrastructure issue for us, especially for women. Because, for example, I've been writing, as a journalist, I've been writing about the misogynistic nature of school shootings since 1998, when jo in Jonesboro, a junior high school, two boys killed a number of their female classmates and their female teacher, only girls were killed, and the national corporate media, the mega-merged conglomerates, national corporate media, were hand-wringing. What could this possibly be? It must be violent video games. It must be the breakdown of the, quote, urban family, which, of course, we know what that's supposed to be code for, right? Nobody said what it was, which was that boy said, no girl's going to break up with me, and went and killed a bunch of girls at school. And then what happened last week um, in Seattle, the same thing. A boy bro was mad that a girl broke up with him and went and killed a bunch of kids in school. The difference between 98 and now is that in 98, I was the only one writing that we need. I wrote a piece that was headlined, Jonesboro, Sexism Kills Girls, and talking about how journalists and media needed to... In, um, needed to explore these underpinnings or else nobody would understand what warning signs to look out for and more and more people would be killed and media would be complicit in these sorts of crimes. Well, at that time, the internet wasn't what it has become today, right? And corporate media gatekeepers kept that out of the dialogue and I had to write the same piece over and over again every time there was another misogynistic shooting, another school shooting, another health club shooting, another Virginia Tech where nobody remembers that um, the, it started with a guy who was stalking women on campus. Um, and the difference is, finally, in this summer, when Elliot Roger gunned down all of those women because he left a manifesto about how women owed him sex and so everybody, all the women needed to die, the difference is we had a national public debate about this. We had two hours on Melissa Harris Perry about this. We had hours and tons of op-eds in mainstream corporate outlets because feminists had built power on the internet for the last 10 years. And if net neutrality goes away, the genie gets put back in that bottle right quick. We cannot let that happen because we know what happens with Comcast mergers. We know what happens with media consolidation. Our voices get drowned out. The internet is where our voices go, not magically, through community organizing and independent journalism to be heard.